Hello. Hi, all my students. How are you? I miss you all. So now uh, that we have finished the literature review, and I'm sure that you have uh, watched it more than one time, uh, you have solved also the worksheet, I'm sure of that. It's time for the solution. Now to check your answers. Are you ready? Follow me. Okay. Uh, the first part, we will, we will start with the skill before we go to the writing, cause and effect, for sure, again. I remind you, causes and effects, causes are the reasons, effects are the results of that, of those uh, reasons. Um, uh, and when I want to know where is it because, I ask myself what happened first. And when I want to know the result or the effect, I ask myself what happened next or what happened second. Okay? Write the cause and effect for each sentence here. Let's write the cause and effect for each sentence. After the dog bit her, we had to take her to the hospital. So here the directive from the sentence, after the dog bit her. This word showed me after, that the action uh, written after, after, is the first thing that happened. What happened first? The dog bit her. So the dog bit her is the cause because it happened first. What happened second? We had to take her to the hospital, so we had to take her to the hospital is the effect. Two, her computer stopped working due to a virus. Uh -huh, here I have a linking verb due to. Due to shows cause, so after due to I have to find a cause. Excellent, a cause, a virus. The virus happened first, so it's the cause. What happened after the virus? What happened second? Her computer stopped working, it's the effect. Three, the police arrested him because he committed a crime. Because, here it's a linking word. Because, um, what happened first? Because of what? He committed a crime. He committed a crime is the cause. Uh, then the police arrested, arrested him, so the police arrested him is the effect. Four, she set fire to the curtain first before the whole house burnt down. She set fire to the curtain first. So what happened first? She set fire to the curtain. This is the cause. Then what happened? The whole house burned down. This is the effect. Five. Since she is scared of clowns, she never goes to the circus. Since shows cause is a linking word here. She is scared of clowns. This happened first. So since she is scared of clowns is the cause and the effect she never goes to the circus. Okay, exercise B. Read the following paragraph, then fill in the cause effect chart. I woke up late this morning because my alarm clock did not ring. You see, this word shows cause after it, and this is the effect. As a result, I had to rush to get ready for school, and I made a huge mess all over the house. So, uh, I had to rush to get ready for school. This happened first. What happened after it? I made a huge mess all over the house. This is the effect. I missed the bus because I had to go back home to fetch my cell phone. Okay? Um, because shows after it echoes. I had to go back to fetch my cell phone. So I missed the bus. This is the result. Consequently shows the result. I was late for school. Okay? And my lecturer was not pleased with me at all. So, since I was late for school, my lecturer was not pleased with me. I was late for school is a cause. My lecturer was not pleased with me at all is the effect. Due to the fact, due to the fact that my day had been going so badly, okay, due to the fact shows cause, I was in a bad mood and I shouted at my friends. This is effect. Since since all the shows cause, since I was in such a bad mood, they didn't want to hang out with me and they left. This is the effect. After they left, my day only got worse. In view of all that happened today, I've decided that I need two alarm clocks instead of one to make sure I wake up on time in the morning. Now we can find the cause effect chart. The effect was given, I woke up late this morning, it's cause my alarm clock did not ring. I had to rush to get ready for school, this is the cause, the effect, I made a huge mess all over the house. I had to go back home to fetch my cell phone, so this is the cause, the effect, I missed the bus. The effect given here, my lecturer was not pleased with me at all, the cause, 
because I was late for school. The cause given, my day had been going so badly, the effect was, I was in a bad mood and I shouted at my friend. The last effect given, my day only got worse, the cause, my friends did not want to hang out with me and they left. In this way, we have finished um, from the skill part. Now, to the writing part. If you remember, the writing the prompt was to write about the causes and effects of using internet. First of all, as I told you, before we start writing the paragraph, we have to um, we have to fill in the organizer. Why? Because the organizer helps us organize the ideas that we only want to talk about. And here, the organizer helps me to uh, decide the causes and effects that I want to talk about. Um, the first cause I chose information is more accessible. I use the internet because information is more accessible. Um, the effect suffering from depression, anxiety, and even isolation. Second cause school projects and assignments nowadays require using internet also. This is a good cause. But other effect unfinished tasks, forgotten responsibilities, and weight gain. How did I develop uh, these ideas uh, in a paragraph? Like so. Now I have finished from the organizer. I added the ideas that I want to talk about them in the organizer. I have to develop them in a paragraph. First of all, I have to start the paragraph with the uh, title for sure, okay? With the title. Just let me put in my pen. Okay. Okay. What did I use in the, or what did I write in the title? Simply using internet causes and effects. This shows that I'm going to talk about using internet, their causes and effects. Topic sentence is the most important because it uh, sheds light on the subject that I will talk about and uh, my reason behind this, uh, my purpose behind this writing. People use the internet, this is the subject, using the internet, for several reasons which lead to different effects. Here I mentioned the subject and my purpose, reasons, causes and effects. Okay. Now I have to start with mentioning the causes and effects. Internet has changed life a lot. To start, the internet has made our lives easier by making information more accessible to all and creating connections with different people around the world. I have to give more information. Okay? Besides, you see, I use drinking well. Besides, many people use the internet to enjoy themselves and to engage in personal interests. Here's another. Cause. Yes, I didn't mention this in the organizer, but here I'm going to add more than two causes, okay? Plus, videos and the music are easy to find. Moreover, most of the school projects and assignments nowadays require using internet. Okay, so here I mentioned four causes. Okay, you can stick to two causes, but don't forget to give examples, use linking words uh, to explain the causes, okay? Now I have to move to the effect. However, it has also led a lot of people to spend too much time in front of the computer so much so that it becomes the center of their lives. Now I have to start with the effect. effect. This sentence shows me that I'm going to start with the effect. People can suffer from depression, anxiety, and even isolation, okay? Due to, you see linking words also, due to the excessive usage of internet. The uncontrolled usage of internet can result into unfinished tasks, forgotten responsibilities, and weight gain. It can also lead to physical symptoms such as backache, neck pain, and vision problems from staring at the screen. All of these are effects of using the internet. Now that I have finished from my supporting sentences, I have to close my paragraph with a concluding sentence. In conclusion, this is very important to use a linking word to show the conclusion. In conclusion, although using internet has important causes, you see, I'm, I'm restating the topic sentence. Although using internet has important causes, we have to stay alert about how to use it in order not to suffer from its negative effects. You see, I even restated that using internet is the subject, important causes and effects as uh, the purpose behind my writing. So now that everything is clear for you, I hope that you are ready for uh, the quiz on Friday. And um, the quiz will be in the skill only, no writing. Okay, don't worry. Um, it's only about cause and effect. 
and uh, if you still have any questions prepare them for the office hour you can ask the teacher and she can explain everything for you just be prepared and stay safe love you all bye